all the board here in the Hot Mess Express. My name is Eduardo David, and I get to be your conductor. Right? You know you love it. Hi, Lee. Hi, Leo. Say hi. Say hi. He's very camera shy. He's got really severe PTSD. I should not have grabbed him so fast. However, my little baby, Leo, you know, comes into the room. I love it. It's amazing. So, and I guess he wants to be on a hot mess express. Oh, look at that. Leo. Hey. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, anyhow, I want to go ahead and also say that this week's trending topic is going to be quite controversial. My current number one disclaimer is if you do not like talking about, you know, rape as well as, you know, sexual misconduct, you can go on and leave me a comment down below and then skip go next because <laughs> if that makes you uncomfortable, I want to apologize now. No one likes to talk about rape. No one likes to talk about, you know, being sexually assaulted. I myself, I'm a two-time rape survivor and I happen to not really be open about it, even though I just said it, blurted it out. The thing is, is that I have been able to, through therapy, just kind of like move forward with my life. And it still does have its moments where things will trigger me. However, it's just, it's time. In time, things do get better and things will, you know, eventually move with you as long as you just keep moving forward and don't look backwards. If you look backwards, you'll never be able to move with your life. And, you know, the justice system can only do so much. And the justice system, it's built for a reason. And people think that the justice system here is built just so people can get away with things. But it's not. It clearly says, you know, innocent until proven guilty. And that's just how it is. And if there's not enough evidence for even probable cause, what can you say? It's hearsay then. And I don't have a degree in law to tell you and help you understand that once, you know, a defense attorney, you know, wins their case, that's their job. That being said, Bill Cosby, he's going to be a trending topic for a minute. Back in 2018, he was convicted for 60 counts of misconduct, but 10 years, 10 years and 60 victims. That's a bit of, that's alarming. For 60 victims to actually be able to come forward and you only got 10 years and only served two? All right, no worries, it's okay. However, the man is 83 years old, 83. He is about two feet in that bucket, ready to kick it. Cause yo, prison will actually age you as well. And the stress of all of the court and everything going on and what he's lost, you know, within his actual professional career, I know that that will not help or solve the problems for the victims, but understand that that man has to now live the rest of his days, which are very numbered. He has to now live with the guilt of what he did. He may tell you that he didn't do it and that he's you know, innocent, but yes, the court proved him not guilty. However, he has to live with his mistakes. He has to live with the things that he did. So we don't know what goes on behind closed doors, so for all the victims, I really, 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 really wish you just the best and that you just move forward. And I'm not saying leave that man alone. I'm not saying go bug that man's door, but live your life, live your life, boo. And do your thing, girls, because this man, he's going to go to a not so great place <laughs> once he bat kicks the bucket. And it's, it's very sad. It's sad when someone you grow up that had, you know, this family oriented and show called The Cosby Show and was very well known for his, you know, put in ads. And I honestly just, mm, Cosby Boo, why I gotta do that? Why? There was no need. 60? Really? You had to drug 60 women? Really? And they, then they woke up with you on top of them? Mm. Boo Boo, no. No means hell no. Hell the fuck no. <laughs> like, no. About this <laughs> little um, situation with women being assaulted and whatnot, and how things happen with dating apps where people are not being properly screened, and so there is a lot of sexual assault in within the community of all these dating apps. Okay. So within a dating app, they're now going to do background checks on you know individuals, and I guess you know, weed out whichever ones are sex offenders. 
that is to me rather bit mm, if you're on a dating app you should be like at least 18 plus so if a sex offender does go on a dating app why if it would be a concern if you were a parent now that i get but if you are like becky and 23 years old and a virgin and you love going to church and all these activities and you find a man who happens to be a sex offender you know are you willing to live with that we live with the fear that this man did something wrong with the child that long ago and they have done the time and you know paid their due to society you know are you willing to like move past that or do you want to go ahead and every sex offender there is out there boom they're on the list done they can never date again because they'll never change is that how we see things please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think because i'm curious about that I want to know if they actually start doing these background checks, how in the world will there be much dating? Also, man, y'all get your shit together. Stop raping women. Stop it. It is duh, duh. Stop. Literally. I know that some women have raped men. Just rape, no rape, period. Stop. Stop with the rape. Stop with the sexual assault. It's done. And there's one more thing I want to highlight. So... Everyone who actually knows and watches like my content knows I love sexuality. I love being able to be dramatic when it comes to sex. So with that being said, there is such a thing as a fantasy role play. However, fantasy role play is when everyone involved gives full consent on what is going to happen. If one person is not cool with what's going on, that means there's no consent, like, no, it's not consensual. It is trouble. If someone in the group does not want to join in on the festivities and the fun, you need to respect that. Those are the boundaries. When someone is not comfortable with something, respect their boundaries and don't push them to do something they don't want to. That's not right. You cannot sit there and ruin someone's sexual experience. That's not cool. Don't do that shit. Like, I'm not here to ruin your sex life. Don't ruin somebody else's. And don't even push them to do something that they would never do in their life. Because that's not cool. It really isn't. Hurting people is not what you should do. And sex is fun. Sex is great. However, it's when people consent. And when they agree to go ahead and do what they're supposed to do. Whether it's a three-way or it's a 69, a gangbang. Who? Does it matter? As long as everyone consents and actually is a willing participant. And is okay with what's going on. Go ahead. Gangbang away. Three-way away. Do it. However, those of you who push others to do things that they shouldn't or that they don't want to, shame on you. Like, for real. Like, shame on you. Ugh. So that I'm as expressed felt deep. Oh, my God. So I'm going to end it on a lovely note because I win a special treat. It's going to be delicious. So you're going to follow me. And I'll be uh, in the kitchen momentarily. Au revoir. Bye. What's up, Pop Mess Express? Hey, Hell Nation. So, in light of the last episode, I want to go ahead and give you a little treat by go ahead and making something fun. It is 4th of July weekend, so please be safe, like I always say, and be cautious as well as don't be rude. Just don't be rude. Be kind to one another. I'm going to go ahead and make some jello shots. However, I'm not Martha fucking Stewart. Hey. And yes, I'm drinking from my own cup that you can actually get on my website at amedwardedavid.com. That's amedwardedavid.com. So in light of the last episode, because it was a little bit heavy, I wanted to go ahead and do something more fun. And hopefully you, you know, have a good laugh on me. Why not? So the idea was to make jello shots. However, this is a hot mess express. So that doesn't mean I'm gonna have everything. So get what you get, boo. So, I'm not even allowed to, I'm not even brain. Jello shots are bomb. And it's usually just enough vodka and gelatin. However, I'm adding a little bit of margarita mix just because I like lime. So I want it very like citrusy and delicious. Like me. So, make sure you read the instructions. Don't be like me <laughs> and just skim through it and then miss a step because I do that quite often, so.
let me go ahead and let you know now. Make sure you read the instructions, whether it's four instructions or two or one. Easy peasy instruction. Just read it. Read every single word. Every word. Okay, sorry about that. A little technical difficulty. So, like, this is really easy. Like, I don't know how I missed that one step. However, it happens. Live and learn. Okay? So, we're gonna go ahead and it says to get, get two and a half cups of water to a boil and then add the packet of gelatin. Obviously, you know I use my measuring cup a lot because I ended up having to like <laughs> draw in the line. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. So, that's thing that you really on how mess of breath because you gotta draw that shit in. Next step. Go ahead and put the packet of lime gelatin. And then you mix a one and a half cup of vodka. Because I want more lime flavor, I'm just adding margarita mix. You do not have to do this at all whatsoever. It's just, I want lime, I want more flavor. So, I like citrus, sue me. Make sure you have a big spoon or spatula and start stirring. So as you can see earlier, I mentioned how I was not well prepared and I'll explain why. I have these three glass pans I'm going to use for the gelatin because I don't have the cups for shots. So what's going to happen is we're gonna go ahead and use these pans and then take these lovely cookie molds and make stars and hearts out of gelatin. It's fun. So here is where I made quite a bit of an error. You're supposed to leave the gel in the freezer for only two hours. However, I did not read that part. I thought that it could just be in there. Nah. I thought with there being so much vodka that it would not freeze. I stand corrected because it did. But I was able to still salvage the remains. Gelatin mall. This does take some time, so. You hoes, get your music out. Stop booty bumping. So, you have to wait for basically the powder to actually dissolve entirely, and this has not come to boil yet. However, ain't nobody got all this time in the world, so let me go ahead and fast track. So, what you go ahead and do, let's fast track once you bring it to boil and once everything is dissolved inside, turn off the stove top, then you go ahead and let it cool for just a moment, because you don't want to put the boiling water in the glass pan. Once that is said and done, you let this bad boy cool because you don't want to put extremely hot, hot boiling water inside a glass pan. You don't. You don't want to put hot ass water in a glass pan. Even though it's meant to withstand very high temperatures, just don't risk it. Don't. Not worth it. But let me show you the finished product. I basically took these three pans and since the actual gelatin did freeze ever so slightly it was still able to make the shape of actual little molds better in my opinion so instead of being like kind of like sloppy and gooey like normal jello this is kind of just frozen so basically i have like frozen hearts and stars and filled with loveliness and a lot of liquor so bottoms up Ooh. Okay. Should have reversed this, but hey, it's hot mess express, so I suggest that when you take these off of your actual tray, you go ahead and use a spatula. 
Pie on the other hand, use my hand. Ooh. Mmm. Yes. Oh, she's gonna be drunk. Oh. It's good. So basically, you do some jello shots into little jello gelatin. I don't know what to call this. What do you call it? Please leave a comment down below. I don't know what the fuck to call this because it's just a jello shot, but gelatin is made into a shape. Hearts and stars, so. It's basically lime jello with vodka as well as a little bit of margarita mix. Lime mix, please, because I love a nice citrusy lime flavor and it looks really good actually. Mmm. Wow. Please don't forget, make the same mistake I did and let it wait at least like two and a half hours before you actually try and take the mold and shape your gelatin because it needs to be rather hard but it can't be too hard so it can't be completely frozen you have to time it right i timed it right by mistake so it looks like it's me and myself and i have a wonderful rest of your weekend and don't forget to have a safe fourth of july everyone please stay tuned i'll see you next week here on hot mess express again my name is adora david and i wish you all the best Mwah. kisses Mmm, sure. Mmm.